The explosion happened as the minister's convoy passed by, damaging his vehicle and destroying four others carrying his security detail. Mohammed Ibrahim had reportedly received death threats early this week. He'd been given an armoured car for increased protection. State security sources say a device had been placed in a car or on a motorbike and according to early forensic reports, it had been remotely detonated. There are also reports of gunfire after the explosion. People living in the area described a very loud bang that shook their buildings. One man says he saw a car driving away just before the attack. When the minister was approaching and the traffic police officers were starting to halt traffic for him, a small black car sped past us and a minute later the explosion happened. The explosion took place as the minister was leaving home in the district of Nasser City. The Muslim Brotherhood still has strong support here. Thousands of pro Morsi's protesters staged a sit-in for six weeks until security forces broke it up, killing hundreds of demonstrators. The interior minister is in charge of the country's police force. Amr Darag, a senior Muslim Brotherhood leader, condemned the attack. Over a dozen guards and passers-by were injured. The minister arrived at the interior ministry in central Cairo two hours after the attack. Thank God, it was a cowardly attempt. The forensic experts are investigating, and it appears to have been an explosive device. It was large, but was set off remotely, and they waited for my vehicle to pass because the impact was close to my car. It destroyed four of the vehicles of my protection team, and many shops in the area were badly affected, along with a civilian car and a small child who had a leg amputated. I have an officer with serious injuries and another officer with a leg amputation. There were many injuries amongst my guards. The government has justified the current state of emergency by saying it is fighting terrorism. The interior minister said this attack marked a new wave in that battle. No one so far has claimed responsibility for the attack. Al Jazeera, Cairo.